What's going on social media socialites? Let's see if we got everything worked out now. Let's see if we're live. I um, was having issues going live earlier, guys. I had the event set up and um, it just wasn't working. So I see a lot of people that are chiming in. Let's see how we look and let's see what we're looking like. Let's see how the sound is. Um, so let's go ahead and, and see how we are. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting a tremendous amount of time because I've already kept you waiting for a long amount of time anyway, so I apologize for that. So, you know, we had some technical difficulties. So it is what it is. A couple of things. So the first thing is that it took all five fiber in my beans to um, to do this show. Being very candid with you guys. Today has been a character building day, <clears throat> to say the least. Ah, that's good. Today has been a character building day. Um, for our firm, you guys know, for all of you guys that are my clients, you guys know that I hired a, a whole team of people. So we've had to do a lot of training with that. And the phones were down late yesterday and most of the day because I had them down for some training and, um, and yeah, and today was payday. So yeah, a lot was going on <laughs> and, um, it is late. And so I wanted to make sure that I um, was here for you guys because I wasn't going to come. I ain't going to lie to you, make it sound fly to you. Listen to me. I was on the phone with Bay, and Jehovah tapped me on the shoulder and was like, you know you need to go live, right? And I was like, God, but I'm tired. He was like, you know you need to go live, right? And I said, yes, yes, Lord. So I got off the phone with her. And I was like, okay, got to do what I got to do. So let's see if you guys can hear me. If you guys even heard what I just said, let's see if you guys heard what I just said. Let's see how we looking. Like, okay, got to do what I got to do. So let's see if you guys can hear me. If you guys even heard, it's still what some I latency. Say, if you guys heard what I just what is latency like it is? Like, okay, got to do what I got to do. So let's see if you guys can hear me. 
Okay. So, I mean, is it that bearable? Is it that unbearable? So I see a lot of people in the building. All right. Mario Caldwell was the first one to chime in. Hey, Mario, how are you feeling, my man? Let me, matter of fact, let me go ahead and, and bring you guys up here. Let me try something else, too. Um, because we got new um, software, it's messing up the sync with the sound. And the last live that we did, I just I just couldn't deal with it. It was just too much. So give me a moment, guys. I'm going to try to see about, about this. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let's see if this is better. Let's translate. Boom. Let's go back again. Run it back. Boom. Run it back. Bring everybody up. And let's see how we are doing now. So let's see how. Let me, let me chime in now. See how we're looking now. Bring everybody up and let's see how we are doing now. So, let's so see is the sound, am I too much like a Chinese guy? No offense to anyone, meaning that I, am I looking too much like a Kung Fu flick? Are you guys able to? Why is this doing this? I apologize, guys. This is live. So bear with me. Um, I'm clear. Okay. You can hear me clearly. You can hear me clearly. Okay. That's good. The sound is good. Okay, good. The sound is good. But the replay, are you able to see? Like, does it like the last live we did? It sound. It looked like I was in a kung fu flick. So the sound was great. The information was phenomenal. But looking at it was difficult. Um, at least it was on my part. I don't know. So you guys, let me know. Um, all right. So let me see. It says, all right, so we have 50 people watch, 51 people watching live, which is great. So I want all 51 of you guys, you have to hit the hit the like button and the share button. So if you're watching me for the first time and let's do a temperature check. So first things first, if this is your first time catching me live, I want you to say first time. OK, if this is your first time catching me live, I want you to say first time. And if you are a client and you're enrolled into DCFI online, I want you to say client. And if you're just a subscriber, you're just a supporter, um, I want you to say um, uh, family. Just want you to say, no, 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 I'm not going to do that because I don't want to make it seem like anybody else is not a family. I want you to just say subscriber. So let's do this. This is live. Okay, so this is live. This isn't like my pre-recorded videos. You guys know how it is by now. Most of you guys, it's 51 of you guys watching me live on a Friday night. So a lot of y'all must be like me, either not have a life or have to deal with being in a long distance relationship. Like, uh, I miss Bay so much, man. Listen, I'm grateful that she has a thriving career. I'm very proud of her. She's doing some phenomenal things. She just recently got a new, um, a new um, company to sponsor her. I'm really proud of her. Tremendously, some, tremendously proud of her. But at the same time, she need to bring a narrative to the house. Listen to me, I miss her. So well, I, I think some of you guys might know who she is. She, <laughs> we haven't been very public, somewhat public, but she is a um, fashion blogger. She is a um, fashion designer and um, she, you know, models as well. And um, so that's that. She's in New York right now. So she's between New York here in california so it is what it is but um nevertheless so let's do a temperature check so like i said it's 51 of you guys that are watching me live let's see who is all i want all 51 of you guys to hit the like button and hit the share button let's see how we sound okay cool okay cool 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 so i see someone who that's their first time thank you so much let's see who is their first time um and everybody, yeah, you see there's an echo. Howard says there's an echo. All right, it's echoing. Perfect on your end, um, Corey, that's awesome. Ray David is in the building, sounds good and clear, that's awesome. I'm good now, okay, that's awesome. So, Adria O'Neill, this is your first time. Thanks so much for watching, Adria. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. All right, you shared the Facebook and liked Ray. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Um, Libra Toy, it's your first time. Thanks so much for watching, Libra. That's a really dope name, by the way. All right, I'm Uniquely Me, uh, which happens to be um, Kia. This is her, um, she's a client. Stanley Williams is a client. Mario Caldwell is a client. Kenneth Williams, this is your first time watching. Thanks so much for watching, Kenneth. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, um, Mr. E, Mr. B, AKA Blessed. He is family, he's a subscriber. Ray David is a subscriber. Um, um, Latroy. 
Corey is your first time watching. Thanks so much for um, chiming in. LaTroy, um, Mr. B is a subscriber. Shelly is a client. Awesome. Um, the PIT, Passive Income Trucker, is a client. Definitely um, a client of mine, Passive Income Trucker. He changed his name like three different times. Scott Davies is in the building. <laughs> Passive Income Trucker, Scott Davies. All right. Um, coast to Coast client need to be added to the private Facebook group. Okay, so Coast to Coast, if you call the um coast to coast if you call the office like i said we have 24 hour support call the office um and when you call the office let them know your real name because we don't know who coast to coast trucker is and also coast to coast have you responded to patricia and have you responded to your initial email um a lot of times the reason why a lot of people aren't being added to the group is because they're not responding to um that initial email um after you get your voucher code and you get up and running in the course then you have to um, confirm your billing information. And so that's part of the reason why a lot of people are not getting added to the course. But if you call the office um, coast to coast, then we'll go ahead and make sure that you are added in. All right, um, Robert Hunter, first time and a subscriber. Thanks so much for um, joining, um, Robert. We got Trucking Juices in the building. He's a client. We got BMN Transport as a subscriber. We got SIP007 as a subscriber. All right. Um, you the best that's ever. Thank you so very much for that, Mr. B. I appreciate that. All right. So most of you guys can hear me. You're waiting on your paycheck, Mr. B. OK, awesome. Well, I look forward to doing business with you as well. So now if you're watching on the if you if this now if you're watching this on the replay, he's like, Dean, I didn't know you were alive. How come I didn't know you were alive? Two things. Thing number one, you've seen my videos before. You've actually commented on my videos before but you have not subscribed. And thing number two, you did subscribe, but you did not hit that notification bell. So it's very important if you are watching me um, and you don't know who I am, my name is Edie and Cole, and I own Dean Cole Financial. We are a consulting firm and we specialize in working capital, alternative finance and business credit development. And if you are um, following me on, oh shoot, not that one. If you follow me on Facebook, we're going to be talking a lot about what's been going on on Facebook tonight. The title of this, um, we're going to be talking about that a lot. Um, and we're going to have a conversation. Now, if you are watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? And make sure you hit the bell so you see that bell at the end. So let's do this one more time. So you have to hit the subscribe button and you see that bell. Subscribe, hit that notification bell right there. So once you hit that notification bell, then you will know when I am live and you will be able to join in because I am going to take your phone calls live. I'm going to be taking your phone calls live on the air today. And we're just going to talk about it. So the title of this one um, is white people credit versus black people credit. OK, um, white people's credit versus black people's credit. That's what we're going to talk about. Before we get into it, let's get to 100 people that are chimed in and watching um, because there was quite a bit of activity on Facebook. Quite a bit of activity that's, that was on Facebook. So um, there are 54 people that are watching. Let's all 54 of you guys hit the share button right now. So share this to Facebook. Share this to Facebook. Share this to Twitter and share it in the group text. So let's do a temperature check. Everyone that shared I want you to tell me right now, where did you share this at? Did you share it on Facebook? Did you share it on Twitter? Did you share it in a group text? Or did you do both? So um, let's go ahead and, and let's get people in here. Let's get it popping. So um, I really want us to get to 100 before I get started. Right now we're at 60 people that are watching. The more you guys share, the more people come in. The more you interact, the more YouTube knows that you value this information. And instead of promoting a cat video, they'll promote my video. That's how that works. So for a lot of you guys that say, Dean, I love what you do, man, and I just can't afford your course right now. That's fine. If you can't afford the course, don't enroll because don't don't do it. Just wait. But you can show your support. The way you show your support is by making sure that you share. And I think um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a contest for the month of May. We're going into April for the month of May. I'm going to do a contest. OK. You guys know I look at my analytics. You guys know that I'm up to date with my analytics. You guys know that I'm up to date with everything. Um, I'm able to track shares. I'm able to track engagement. You guys know, like I said, I talk about it all the time. I look at these numbers. So I'm going to do a contest. Whoever has the most shares, 
By the end of May, I'm going to give them a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, an hour consultation, okay? Whoever has the most shares, I'm going to give them a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. So the person that shares the most. And so what happens is that what, what we do is now when you share it, you have to make sure that you at me too. So when you share it on Facebook, share it and then at my name, make sure it pops up as a hyperlink. When you share it on Instagram, make sure that you do the screenshot and then you do at my name. And if you share it on Twitter, make sure you share and do at my and, and do at my name on Insta on Twitter. And if you share it in a group text, let me know how many people you shared it with in your group text, because then I'm able to go back on the back end and see how many shares and I can kind of add everything up. So if that's something you now, if you guys are not interested in that, then I just won't do that. OK, so if you guys are not interested, let me know right now. Let's do a temperature check. You know, before we really dive into this, let me know um, if that's something you're interested in. If you would like to have a free one hour consultation with me just by participating, if that's something you're interested in, I want you to say interested. If you're not interested in it and if, you know, you say, you know what, Dean, that's fine. I want you to say keep it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like I mentioned, majority of, oh, shoot, that was not good. Ooh, this is live, guys. Oh, that was not good. That wasn't that bad. Woo. Okay. Woo. It wasn't that bad. I dropped one of my phones, guys. Lord, I'm you know when you drop the phone. Listen, tell me. Oh, that wasn't that good. <laughs> oh, that wasn't that good. But we all right, though. We up, we up in there. We up through that. Okay. But so, um, back on track. Yes, guys, this is live. So, um, what was I saying? Back, back on track. Back on track. What I was saying. Yeah. Um, like I mentioned, majority of what we talk about, majority of what we do on this show, what we do on my channel, it is based on on you guys. You know what I'm saying? I make content around what it is that you guys need. So, um, speaking of that, I'm going to get into. Um, excuse me. I got sneeze. <clears throat> Excuse me. Guys, this is all the way live. You hear me? <laughs> this is all the way live. So, um, so um, majority of what it is that I do when it comes to this is based around you guys. It's based around your interaction. That's one of the secrets to why I'm able to grow. Like, I'm so excited that we hit 12,000 um, YouTube subscribers today. We hit 12,000 today. And I posted on Instagram when we hit 12,000, then I posted it on Facebook. And so a lot of people are trying to figure like, Dean, you 30 something years old, you know, you're old dude, and you don't cuss and you don't have any drama and you ain't showing no, no butts. Like, why is it that you're growing? You're gaining a thousand subscribers a month. How are you able to do it? And one is by the grace of God. Two, I think it has something to do with my handsome handsome mug <laughs> but no seriously i think the reason why is because if this really is like a people show like this is designed around you guys and it's designed you know i make sure that i make content for you guys so let's go ahead and see who is participating again if you're watching on the replay so two places you can see the comments you can see the comments right here which is a cool thing about this you can see the comments right here and then you can also see the comments under the live chat now, speaking of that, somebody did do a super chat. So let's see who that was that did that super chat. And I am watching and I appreciate that. So it was MB gave me a $2 super chat. I appreciate you, MB. I appreciate the support, my man. Uh, what's going on here? Let me not do that. Let me not do that. Okay, cool. We good. We good. We good. So let's see who is all interested. You got to hit the bell, Ray David. That's right. You have to hit that bell. So, um, all right, Shelly, she shared it on Instagram. I appreciate that. Ray David shared on Facebook. I appreciate that. Um, driving, but um, listening. Okay, Charles, you driving, but you're listening. I appreciate that. All right, so um, Ray is interested in it. Um, Corey is interested. Uniquely Me is interested. D um, Anderson is interested. All right, um, Linda shared on Twitter. That's awesome. Latroy Cone shared, um, and Latroy Cone is interested. Um, they make otter boxes. <laughs> Mario, you saw I'm like, what are you talking about? Then it might remind me when my phone dropped. Yeah, they make otter boxes for that. But yeah, you know, I'm too sleek. You know, I'm too sleek, and you know, I need some. You know, I'm too sleek. Otter boxes. You know, it's too it's too clumsy for that. But I appreciate that. All right. Um. So um, Linda says Facebook doesn't allow 
um, to follow you. Yeah, if you go under follow, I can't accept any more friends, but if you go under follow, it's just like being my friend. You're going to get all the notifications and then you can at me as long as you're not blocked. I don't think you're blocked. Are you blocked? You should not be blocked, um, Linda. All right. Um, Carolyn is interested. I appreciate that. All right. Um, trucking. So Mr. B says anytime. I appreciate you. Trucker Drew says he's interested. I appreciate that. Um, all right. Good stuff, guys. So now let's go ahead and, and catch up to things. So so everyone that says they're interested. So now what happens is on any of my videos, not just this one, but on any of my videos, I'm able to track all the shares, all the engagements, anything. So anytime you share. So when you share on Facebook or you share on Twitter, you share on Instagram and you at me, that's going to go into the pile. And then the person with the most shares, like you can share, like I got like 300 something videos. Like if somebody really wanted to, they could just go and share, 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 share and at me. If that's what you want to do, you know, you, you, you're able to do it. But um, anytime, the person who shares, not anytime, but the person who shares any of my videos, the most amount of times, um, I'm going to give them an hour consultation. So let's go ahead and get into this. So if you guys, so we talked about Facebook and who just messaged me on Facebook? I can't show that. Hold on. Who just messaged me on Facebook? Sean, go ahead and. How can I mute myself so people can't see that I'm on? How do I do that? Do, 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 do. Well, let's go for it. If it happened, it happened. I ain't doing that. I ain't got no business doing. So hey, this is live. So let's go for it. So let's go ahead and um, boom, boom, boom. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is still popping up. Why is this message still popping up from this person? I cannot. I, I just talked a whole bunch of junk, but at the same time, I do need to keep people's information private because, you know, we're consulting in real life. So mm, how do I make it so that I can be on Do Not Disturb because I don't want anybody's sensitive information popping up on the screen. I don't know how to do it. 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 I know how to do it on my cell phone, but I don't know how to do it on here. So let's get to it anyway. Nevertheless. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So let's go ahead and get that out. Boom. There it is. Mm -mm. Give me a moment, guys. I'm going to bring it up. And there we go. Boom. So let's talk about this. So earlier and this is what we're going to be taking calls about guys so earlier on um facebook earlier through the week i dropped this um post and all hell broke loose now i have clients from multiple different walks of life i have clients that are in the trucking industry I have clients that own their own hair salon I have clients that own massage parlors. I have clients that own daycares. I have clients that own um, private label um, clothing line, makeup. I have clients from all walks of life. I have clients from a lot of different ethnos, a lot of different ethnicities. Majority of my clients are African-American. 25% of them are Caucasian, Asian, Latino, they're other. So out of that demographic, um, I, I have to teach. I know that I'm called to teach my african-american people because they just don't know and this proves it tremendously so i did this post white people and black people are born with the same credit score your ethnicity does not dictate your credit okay your ethnicity does not dictate your credit i did this i did this and all hell broke loose on Facebook. Oh, I got too much stuff going on. Boom. Let's get this out of here. I'm sorry about that, guys. Mm. So, we're going to talk about it. All right? We are going to talk about it. What do you guys... First of all, I want to know if you saw that. If you're watching... Even if you're watching this on the replay, I want you to interact with me even as if you were watching live. So, if you have seen that on my Facebook, um, if you saw that... I want you to say saw it if you did not see it um, and, and you don't know what we're talking about. I want you to say didn't see it. OK, if you saw it, I want you to say saw it. 
If you did not see it, I want you to say, didn't see it. And we're gonna take your calls. If you agree with me or you don't agree with me, we're having a conversation tonight, okay? So we're having a healthy dialogue, healthy conversation. I'm gonna respect you, you're gonna respect me, and we're gonna talk about this. Now, we're gonna talk about multiple things because now we can have a conversation. Now, the interesting thing about it is that when you do, on social media, you have to put, if you guys don't know this or not, let's kind of go back again. So if you guys don't know this or not, you have to put how many characters you have to put your sentence. You have to be very, um, very to the point, powerful, hard hitting. And you have to do it in, I think, like a hundred something characters or it won't come out right. So the idea of this is to submit a fact, something that cannot be refuted. And then start conversation, excuse me, and then start conversation underneath, which is what we did. And in the conversation, the conversations were very lengthy. The conversations were very lengthy, very good. However, um, a lot of people, most of them were African-Americans, were so upset about what I said. They were like, how in the world could you, as a black man, say that white people's credit and black people credit is the same? Like, how can you do that? Well, one, because a fact is a fact. No matter how we might want to shape it, a fact is a fact. And that's what I do as I speak truth to power. And so what happened is a lot of people um, started to say things like that's not true because it depends on where you're from. And I thought that was very interesting because I'm like, who, who told you that? Like, that? That's not that's not true. And I'm, I'm going to talk. I'm going to speak truth to power and talk about it. And I'm also going to take your phone calls. I'm going to take your phone calls as well. Um, and we're just going to have a conversation about it. And I'm going to teach. I'm going to speak facts and I'm going to talk truth to power about it. So, like I said, um, if you've never seen me before, let me do a quick bit of redress so I can understand. So you can understand the reason why I know what I know, why I say what I say and how I do what I do. So I have been in banking and finance my entire adult life. I looked up and um, started working in corporate America when I was 16 years old. Surprisingly enough, yes, I was working in corporate America at the age of 16. There was a company called MCI WorldCom and they had a work study program. So I would go to school. I was going to Reed Ann High School in um, Decatur, Georgia. And after I think third period or something like that, then you can go to work and you can get paid for it. I did extremely well, extremely well. So much so to the point where I said, you know what, F this. And um, I just started to focus and just grind and work. And it was fun. I made a whole lot of money. I made a lot of money, so much so to where I could start going into my passion, which was real estate. I really, really liked real estate. Make a long story short, I bought, I bought my first piece of property when I was 19 years old. When I bought my first piece of property at 19, I ran into my mentor, my current mentor, who I reference quite often. I bought my first piece of property from him. Make a long story short, and I can do a different, um, I can do in depth, an in-depth breakdown. And I did it on Instagram two days ago, but I haven't done it. I don't think I've done it on YouTube, but there is a video. Matter of fact, if you're watching this on the replay, at the end, matter of fact, right now, I'm going to do a, uh, 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 a card. So right now, if you click on that card that just popped out, if you're watching on the replay, it'll take you to the vlog where I'm actually sitting with my millionaire mentor who, who taught me a lot of what I know. Um, if you guys have seen that vlog, I want you to say saw it. If you haven't seen the vlog, I want you to say haven't seen it. And even if you're watching this on the replay, like I said, I, I, if you look in the comment section of any of my videos, you see me. And some people, somebody was like, this really is a Dean. Oh, yes, it's me. Um, that's me being smart at the mouth. That's me trolling trolls. That's me misspelling words. That's me. That's all me. That's not a robot. That's not an assistant. It is me in my comments. It is me. So if you look, I, I interact. A majority of a lot of what I do, like I said, is based on you guys' interaction. So the live comments are great. I see those and I act on them now. But even on the replay, I interact on those comments as well. 
So um, if you saw it, I want you to say saw it. If you haven't seen it, I want you to say haven't seen it. And once again, there's going to be a card that pops out and that card will take you to that to that blog. So nevertheless, because of that real estate deal, because of that real estate transaction, I got my first job working at the banks and banking and finance at the age of 19. And then Martha Flores taught me the game better than she's like the coldest in the coldest in the business. She taught me what I know. Then Jehovah God added his super on my natural. That's how I'm able to have supernatural results. Fast forward almost two decades later, we are where we are. So, um, a lot of that, all that being said, I, in that post that I did, let's do a, let's do a temperature check. Let me call, let me slow down for a second. Now. Let me stay on focus. Let me stay on point. Let's slow down. Let's see what we're looking like. So let's see who said what. All right. Let's see. Let's see where we at. Okay. Let's see where we at. Come on, let's see. All right. Um, you haven't seen it? You haven't seen the um, vlog um, S Congress? Okay, awesome. That's great. So when you when you actually leave this video, you can actually go and look at my videos. You'll see where it says, I think the title of the video, the thumbnail is uh, me holding a check where he had like $35,000 or something just laying around in his car from a real estate deal. If not, at the end of this video, come and you'll see a, a end screen that's going to pop out and you'll be able to be take, taken to that video and you'll see. Um, so um, Carlissa says she haven't seen it. All right, Trucker, um, Curtis said that you did see it. All right, um, Dante um, says didn't see it. Lady Soul says haven't seen it. Libra says haven't seen it. Mr. B, um, Bless for Success says haven't seen it. All right, DL says haven't seen it. Okay, a lot of you guys have not seen my vlogs. Stanley Williams said that he saw it. He saw the he saw the vlog. Okay, awesome. So that's good stuff. This is a lot of opportunity. DL, I hope you call in today, young lady. DL, I want to have this conversation with you. I want you to be one of the ones that call in. So be ready to call in. All right. Um, Clarissa said that she saw it. Mario Caldwell said that he saw it. All right. Um, so awesome. All right. Trucker Drew said that he saw it. All right, awesome. So you guys, okay. So most of you guys said that you guys haven't seen it. So that's great. So if you look on the CEO Lifestyle Vlogs, you'll see um, my millionaire mentor. So he was the one who sold me my first piece of property. He was the one that taught me how to flip real estate. And he was the one that introduced me to banking and finance. So um, that being said, um, that's how we are, where we are today. And I just found my passion, found what I love to do. Mix that on top of speaking and being an orator. I'm, I'm, I can die a happy man knowing that I've done what Jehovah has called me to do. Now, that post that I did on Facebook, let's go back there one more time. So this post that I did on Facebook, so many people were so upset about it. And so many people, not only were they so upset about it, so many people were saying some of the weirdest, most interesting things they were saying some of the most weirdest interesting things like like how can you say that as a black man they're saying things like like oh this one person oh that really irritated me he was like oh i bet you believe all lives matter some foolishness like that and in my mind i'm thinking how can but the thing is that most people don't realize there are five factors that make up your credit score all right five factors that make up your credit score Ethnicity is not one of those five factors. We're talking about your credit score specifically. We're not talking about wealth. We're not talking about generational things. We're not talking about um, privilege. We're just talking about the fact of the matter, the very elementary level of credit is that it does not matter. Now, um, let's, let's talk about it a, a bit. Now, when I don't know if you guys saw the, the, the video that I did about Trump. But I spoke in a term that's called alliteration. And I learned this from Bishop Stephen B. Hall. He taught me alliteration. One other thing that he taught me is the phrase, and I never heard it before, but after I heard it, it makes so much sense. He used to say things to me. He was like, Dean, a lot of these people think that white ice is colder. Have you guys ever heard that term before or that phrase before, white ice is colder? I'm going to open up the phone lines in a little bit, guys, but I want to set the foundation and the precedence before I, I get into having the conversation. Um, but I want to, 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 to lay the foundation first, and then I'm going to take your phone calls. But um, 
Have you guys ever heard that phrase before? White ice is colder. If you have, say yes. If you haven't, say no. I've never heard it before up until Bishop Hall taught me that. And, and, and I want to see if you guys have ever heard that before. Let's do a temperature check, guys, because the screen is slower, but my phone is faster. So let's, um, let me know if you've heard it before, if you've ever heard that, that term before. White ice is colder. And then I'll talk and then let's see if you guys know what, what that means and, or whatever. If you've ever heard that before. All right. So. Um, so um, Libra says, LOL, I did. Um, Mario Caldwell says, yep, he's heard it before. Um, Lady Soul said, no. Um, Dante says, no. Simple. Simp, Simp 007 says, no. Um, so Shirley says, yes, heard it. All right. Latoya says, no. Um Robert says, I heard some crap that our credit score is somewhat determined or based by where you live. For example, um, South Central LA versus Beverly Hills. Yeah, um, Robert, definitely call in and we can talk about that because I, I want to make sure I completely I understand what, you, what, you, what you're talking about because context is lost in that. But I want to know a little bit more what you're talking of. Calissa says, no, she haven't heard it. Blessed for success says, haven't heard it till now. All right. Um, Palm, um, Powell says no. So basically white ice is cold. I never heard it before until Bishop Hall taught that to me. And he says that there is a concept that African-Americans believe that anything that white people have, anything that white people do is better. That's what the concept is. White ice is colder. He says that that comes from a lot of people in the South when they needed to get ice. They feel like, well, instead of getting ice from a black man, I get ice from a white person. I'd rather support a Caucasian individual or a Caucasian individual is better. A lot of people have said that and it is a false. It's false. It's a, it's a false narrative and it's a false um, a number. That is not the case. OK, it's a misnomer. So the reality is. It does not matter black or white. Your credit score, your score is the same at birth. Technically, your score is zero. But when you become of age and you do try to pull your credit and you're at the age of 18, your credit score is 350. Everybody credit score is that. Most people don't know this. OK, the lowest score that you're able to have, according to FICO, is 350. All right. That is if you don't do nothing and you try to pull your credit, it'll be nothing there or it'll be 350. All right. If you don't have anything on your credit score. All right. So just be now, a lot. Now, let's 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 do another temperature check. OK, before I open up these phone lines, how many people have ever heard it or believed it or, or used to believe or, or thought that white people credit is better than black people credit? If you go to any comedy show, um, any any comedy show after the year of 1990, you're going to hear a comedian talk about, oh, get you some white friends so you can have good credit. They and so what happens is that a lot of people have have believed this miseducation that automatically white people credit is better, which is is not accurate. That's a that's not a hundred percent accurate. It's it's their scores might be better because of something that they did. I know African scores that might be better. I know Asian scores that might be better. I know regular black people scores that might be better. It has nothing to do with their ethnicity or their location or their general proximity to any place in the world. It has all to do with how they manage their money. So if you ever heard that before, if you ever, or if you believed it, let's be honest and let's talk about it. If you believe, then it's okay. You know, I'm not gonna bash you. We're having a conversation, okay? And um, just have a conversation. If you would believe that white people credit is instantly better just because you think it is, I want you to say, I believed it. Um, if you just say, I believed it, three words, I believed it, if you did. If you didn't believe it, if you say, say no, not me. So no, not me, N-A-W-L. Make sure you use that slang on it. Don't say no proper women. I want you to say no, N-A-W-L. OK, so if you believe that and if you if you and just be honest, if you believed it, I want you to say believed it. If you didn't believe it, say no, not me. Now, being on the back end of it. Now, remember, let's got to remember again, I started in banking and finance at the age of 19 as a teenager. So what formed my way of belief was what I saw. And so because of the strategy that my mentor and I used to make um, tens of thousands of dollars, my demographic was only black people because what we used to do is we used to um, buy 
and flip. We used to buy property and then we used to flip them. And the way that we used to get our clientele was we used to have um, workshops. We used to have home buying seminars and we had a pool of people. And then we would actually give cash back back in the day, long, 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 long time ago. So feds, if you're watching, this was a long time ago. The statute of limitation has passed away. It is illegal to do that now, but back in the day before Dodd Frank, it was not illegal to do that. Remember, come on now. So that being said, I didn't see white people credit until I left working for that um, broker and started working for the bank. And it never dawned on me, but actually a lot of people, white, uh, white people credit, a lot of, this is, and I'm going to share something with you guys. Having no credit People say having no credit is worse than having bad credit. No, 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 no. Having no credit is better than having bad credit. Because if you have no credit, boom, you can instantly make that thing jump up. But if you have bad credit, I've seen a lot of Caucasian people, white people that's over leveraged. They can't, they can't finance a stick of gum because they started using it and using it and using it. Well, you might have somebody who might be 25 years old, got locked up when he was 18 years old, he get out of jail, don't have anything on his credit. If he get himself together, you see him riding around flipping real estate. You see him riding around on 24s. You see him doing this and the third, and he didn't do it with drug money. He did it with his own money because he had zero credit. It's easier to build and establish new credit. So that being said, and so, so let's go ahead and do a temperature check. So Mario said that he believed it, and I appreciate you being honest. And so this is what it takes. It takes these type of honest conversations so that we can know, you know, so that we can know better. If you know better, then you can do better. So let's see um, some people. Let's go ahead and talk about this. Alex expresses in the building. Hey, Alex, how are you doing today, my man? Um, from the Cab County, Mario. Absolutely. So um, Alex Express said that he believed it. Um, Mr. B, a.k.a. Blessed for Success. I'm just going to say blessed for success. Say blessed for success says no, not me. DL said no, not me. Larry um, Latroy says no, not me. 007 says no, not me. All right. Um, Shelly says no, not me. Good stuff. Most of you guys are saying no, not me. That's good stuff. All right. Hit the like button and you shared it. Thank you so much, Alex. I appreciate you for that, sir. Um, Caroline says no, not me. All right. So um, Jim Treso. What's up, Mr. E. Dean Cole? Great videos. Great info. I appreciate you so much for that. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, Gam Tresco. So Adam says, yeah, you thought that they had the um, better portion of credit. And that's good to be honest about that, Adam. I appreciate you for, for being honest about that. So, yeah. So a lot of people think that a lot of people thought that that was the case. But the reality of the situation is, no, it's not the case. So um, I'm going to open up your phone lines and we're going to talk about it. All right. I'm going to answer your questions. We're going to talk about anything that you guys, you know, anything that you guys would like to talk about when it comes to credit, credit restoration, credit repair. But then also we're going to have conversations. Every last one of you guys that called in, I'm going to ask you guys. So be prepared to talk about the subject. Do you think black people credit is better than white people credit? And also let's talk about it. People were talking about redlining and people were talking about generational wealth and generational curses and all of the other good stuff. So speak now. Also, let me tell y'all something else. There was this one individual. I'm going to put him on blast because he was ranting and raving and raving and ranting. I'm going to put him on blast. Where you go? He was going all up and down the comments. Where you go? Mr. Keith Seymour. He was going crazy up and down. So I said, Keith, hey, Keith, I'm about to go live on YouTube. Let's have a conversation about this. I wasn't going to make it a call in show. It was just going to be Keith and I having a conversation. You know, that joker ran for me and he was talking. He was talking cash money, talking all this noise, talking about Bank of America, talking about TDW, Meritrade. So all day today. Now, mind you, it's a Friday, but he might not know this. You know what I'm saying? I'm a CEO in real life of a consulting firm. I have 900 clients enroll into my course. It's a Friday. I have new people enroll into the course. I have um, payroll that I got to take care of. I have training that I got to take care of. So I hadn't really been on social media much um, besides, um, looking at, you know, analytics, what I do, you know what I'm saying? Looking at the marketing stuff, the analytics stuff. And so he was going all up and down crazy. Like, yeah, Dean, you know, you ain't answering these questions. You know why you ain't answering these? And I explained to him, I said, sir, I'm a CEO of a consulting firm. I've been busy. I said, but now you have my attention. Let's have a conversation. I'm about to go live on YouTube. How about I call, I, it'd be you and I, and we have a conversation about this. Guess what he said? Crickets. 
absolutely nothing. And the reason why is because I believe a lot of people like to play the victim. They feel good to be the victim. If you're the victim, then you don't have to be accountable for your own actions. If you are the victim, then you it's okay. I have, I have bad credit because I'm a black man in America. So it's okay that I have bad credit. It's okay that I can't finance nothing. They won't finance nothing. They won't let me get anything anyway because I'm a black man anyway. So I can't get nothing no way. So this is that mindset. So there are two mindsets that I feel like has been recently, I've recently discovered. I, there's one mindset is the um, not taking accountable for your actions, blaming everything on the fact of it's the system, it's the black, it's, um, it's the white man that's keeping me down. That's why my credit is jacked up and I might as well, I can't do nothing about it no way. That's that mindset. The other mindset is the is the fact of the self-limiting belief and the self-sabotage of that I can't have good credit because I'm black, so I'll never have good credit. So it's the self-efficacy of credit. Self-efficacy is one of my favorite things in psychology because I used to struggle with self-efficacy for a long time. Self-efficacy basically means that it's your belief on how you should be paid or is your belief on what your wealth level or your financial level should be based on how you what you believe about yourself so it's psychosomatic meaning that what you believe is the reality that you see the prime example a, a mother you might have a, there might be a mother who's been working at church's chicken her entire life she might have four kids by six baby daddies and she might have a 700 credit score because all she has is two things that Kia on Rio that she has on her credit and that finger hut that she got to do the dining room table. And she don't know that she got 700 credit, but she's on she's on section eight right now and she can own a home if she wanted to. And the own the home that she owned, if she got the right home, her, her mortgage might be four hundred dollars. But the thing about it is that she's building wealth and when that house is paid off, she now has an asset. And for $400, let's say the asset is worth maybe $75,000 or she just want to continue to rent on Section 8. And the way Section 8 works is that the government either pays all of your rent or some of your rent. So in this scenario, if I can be specific about it, because she's working at, at, um, at um, did I say Popeye's or Church's Chicken? Because she's working at the chicken joint, um, that means that the government is not paying all of her rent, but paying some of it. So let's say she's staying at a place that's a thousand dollars, which is overpriced. So she might be paying five hundred, where I mean, she might be paying four hundred, where the government might be paying six hundred. So that's a realistic, specific scenario, and and the reason why she is in that mindset is because of her self-efficacy. She doesn't believe that she could own a home. She doesn't believe that it's possible, and that's why I am. That's what my my job is to educate and empower people. The people that are misguided and undecided about their way of wealth and to help them realize that their goals. That's what I know that I'm called to do. So let's open up these phone lines, guys. So let's open up these phone lines. I really I'm talking about they're talking about some cash money. I'm about to say, Denise. Oh, she's she coming in a healthy alternative. If you coming in on my post in a healthy alternative, I can't do that. Um. Comment on my post on Black Man. Oh, man, man, man. I really wanted to um, really comment on this and tell people I am live. If you want to call in on the show, we talking about y'all right now. YouTube is lit talking about y'all right now. Come defend y'all selves. <laughs> that's what I want to say. Ah, that's what I want to say. Let me say it. Let me say it. Let me say it. I am live on YouTube right now. Matter of fact, I'm about to drop a video. I'm about to drop a video in my own comments. Watch this, guys. I'm about to drop a video in my own comments. I'm doing watching this video. Listen, guys. We are live on YouTube. So, YouTube, we are live right now. Chat is going off and we're having a conversation about this topic. So I'm opening up the phone lines. You can call in and let's have a conversation about this. Is black people credit worse than white people credit? Is it all the same? Come. Ah, I messed it up. So this is what see. This is what it takes. I messed it up. It didn't let it me do it long enough. See, 
This is live, guys. It didn't let me do it long enough. So let's go back. It didn't let me do it long enough. So let me get to the point. So let me go back and let's get to the point. Listen, guys, we are live on YouTube. So come over to my YouTube channel and join in. And I'm going to be taking phone calls live. So if you want to have a conversation about this, and I want you guys to, to say what you guys believe and what you think, come over to YouTube, get the phone number so that we can participate in it. Is white people credit different from black people credit? See you guys over here in a second. So that's that, guys. So boom, boom, boom. I messed up, but it's all right. Dropped it. There we go. All right. This is live, guys. Somebody asked me, Dean, who does your social media? I do my social media. <laughs> Somebody asked me, Dean, who does your social media? I do my social media. Let me make sure I got the right hyperlink in there. Yep, there we go. The right hyperlink. So, all right, so somebody gave a super chat. Let's see what the super chat was. Um, let's see what the super chat was. Super chat. Oh, super chat from Marcus Garvey for two dollars and twenty-two cents. I appreciate the super chat, Marcus. Alex Express says, um, I love the info. Thank you very much for that, Alex. I appreciate you, sir. All right, guys. Um Yes, we are in this together, big, um, big, the realist. Yes, we are in this together. Eagle Vision says, checking in. What's up, Dean? So most people are coming in. That's awesome. So people are coming in and we're having a conversation. Eagle Vision, we are going, I'm opening up the phone lines, Eagle Vision, and I'm going to be taking your calls live. So that's how that works. Simple and plain. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm about to open up these phone lines and you can call in, guys, if you want to call in you're able to call in right now let me make sure i open this up boom, boom boom there we go boom so you guys are able to call in right now 855-756-6639 that is 855-756-6639 i am taking your calls live we're talking about credit talking about credit secrets and we're going to talk about you know, what's, what's going on? Is black people credit um, better than white people credit? What do you guys believe? And so I think most importantly, the thing that I really want everybody to get and to understand is that everybody's credit is still the same. Now, granted, there are some privileged things, you know, that are out there. There are some things when it comes to, um, when it comes to inheritance and, and those type of things, those type of things are there. But most, most importantly, we all are starting from the same place. Hey, caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? This is Lady Soldier. I'm calling from Kentucky. How are you doing, Lady Soldier? Thank you so much for calling in. How's, the, how's everything over there in Kentucky? It finally stopped snowing. Oh, my goodness. It finally stopped snowing? It's about to be summertime. Lord have mercy. I guess, listen, it's, it's still the wintertime in some places. That's good stuff. Well, um, the big, the, the majority of the theme for, for the show tonight is basically, what do you, what are your thoughts about it? Do you believe, or do you agree with me? You disagree with me that black people's credit is the same as white people credit. It doesn't, your ethnicity does not matter. I want to know what your thoughts are about that. And, um, and then we can talk about it, whatever, whatever, whatever you like to talk about. So what do you, first of all, ask, what are your thoughts about that? subject is that you're absolutely correct with the score not being any different. It's just that when we have to, um, since it's not automated and we still have to speak to a human being, mm -hmm. that's when it gets messed up. Mm. I do definitely believe that that does have its place. And so it's interesting that you say that because majority of what I teach in my course, I teach about AUS, Automatic Underwriting Engine. And when you do build your, your credit up the proper way and you go through automatic underwriting, I think maybe if I could be honest about this, psychologically, I think that's one of the reasons why I know for a fact on the business side is why I teach 
the way that I do so that you don't have to deal with the individual because a lot of businesses are considered most, some businesses are considered high risk and the less you have to talk to an individual, the better. So that definitely does have its place when it comes to getting approval and having to get approval from a different individual. I definitely agree with you on that. I, I definitely will, will agree with you on that. Alrighty, um, I did have a question though. Yes, ma'am. What's your question? All right. When I filed for bankruptcy mm -hmm. years ago, um, somehow my defaulted student loans disappeared from my credit report. Yes, ma'am. And so I was wondering if I started payments and, and was trying to get them out of default, would that assist my um, credit? you know, goals or hinder. All right, so let me make sure I understand you. So what you're saying is that you filed bankruptcy a couple years ago. And how many is a couple years ago? Can you be specific with me? About six years ago. Okay, so you're coming up on your seventh year. So that matters. So did you file chapter seven or did you file chapter 13? Seven. Okay, that good. That's good. That matters. So on your credit report, so what you're saying is that some kind of way, your student loans was added into your bankruptcy. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. They're not on the credit report anymore. They're not on the credit report anymore. Okay. Now, um, let me ask you, are these federal student loans or were they private student loans? Where did you, would you go through Sally Mae or did you go through a private institution to get these student loans? They were, they were federal. They were federal. Okay. Well, that being said, you um you have gotten a great loophole don't you say nothing about them student loans them student loans are gone and they're in the past and because of the bankruptcy the bankruptcy attorney and the trustees have to um abide by the um conditions of your bankruptcy so that being said you're fine as long as they they're not going to come back and because you have protection under the bankruptcy shield they should not come back so you are fine when it comes to that. I had a client um, recently that, that actually that's been happening a lot lately. I feel like um, I, I really want to do a product. I got so much stuff I got to do. I have so much stuff I have to do. I want to do a product that's called bouncing back from bankruptcy because um, so many people have filed bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is a very good strategy um, to restore and repair your life if indeed and in fact you should. If you just have $10,000, then you don't need to be filing bankruptcy. But if you have an over leverage, you have a lot of stuff going on, you try to save a home, try to save a business, then it's a great tool. Um, that being said, the, there's been a very large influx of individuals filing bankruptcy ever since President um, Bush got into office. And so because of that, I feel like a lot of things have been slipping through the cracks. I've had several individuals with this exact same scenario. Now, this specific young lady who I'm talking about, this was maybe three months ago, they were at the bankruptcy hearing and they tried to add the student loans back in. And she made sure that she um, continued under the bankruptcy shield and she held her ground and they completely removed it completely. It was a mistake on their, on their fault. So that being said, so in, when you're in the process of restoring and rebuilding your credit, don't worry about the um, student loans whatsoever. What you should, what you need to do is you need to um, rebuild with new guaranteed lines of credit. So because you're not currently in an open bankruptcy um, and uh, your bankruptcy, when did you, when, when was your discharge date? Okay, so because you're not currently in a, um, a, a open bankruptcy, then you're actually you're able to get guaranteed lines of credit. There's several different lenders that will give you guaranteed lines of credit, even though you have filed bankruptcy. You don't want to get a secured credit card. One of the worst things you can do. I'm going to try everything in my power by next weekend to have the free course out. In that free course, you will be able to um, utilize the resources for 
this situation for getting the guaranteed lines of credit. Um, now, the reason why I asked about how many years it's been, because at the seventh year, you can purchase home and purchase real estate again. So um, if, if, I don't know if you, you did purchase real estate or not, but after seven years, your bankruptcy doesn't even go into play with most lenders. Um, there are some lenders that, that will still evaluate your um, scenario, but as long as you are, you know, um, you're not in an open bankruptcy, there are a lot of lenders that will do business with you. After seven years, then almost all of the lenders will do business with you. Does that, does that make sense? Yes. Did I answer your question? Absolutely. Okay. Take a whole load off my mind. That's good stuff. Well, I'm so glad that I can help you um, um, answer that question. And like I mentioned before, um, I'm going to do everything in my power this weekend to finalize the um, courses. Um, I was set to do the free credit repair course last week, but some a scenario had a, a situation happened where I had to re-record a couple of videos because one of the lenders that I was I was putting in the course they no longer report to the credit bureaus, and so we had to rechange it up. And then also the, one of the student loan um, companies that was actually paying to have the course done they needed to um, have us do some some paperwork and all the other good stuff. So because of that that put a hold on it, but I'm going to do everything in my power to have everything done by this time next week. So next Friday, everybody can go and get the course live. I think I want to do that. I'm going to make it to where next Friday on the show, everybody who wants to get the course will be able to go live. I'm going to drop the link. Everybody can go and get that free course for credit. How does that sound? I think that's a really good idea. I think I can make that happen. Now. I think I can make that happen now. Now that I have the new, I have um, I have the new team working on the customer support side. I think I definitely can make that happen now. I just got to record a couple of things. But nevertheless, thank you so much for calling, guys. Give me a call. I'm taking your calls live. 855-756-6639. That is 855-756-6639. Look, I know it's late because I started late. We had some 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 stuff going on, but we are here. 855-756-6639. She got lucky. Yes, she did get lucky. Who was that that said that she got lucky? Yes, she absolutely did get lucky. That was, um, who said that? Because she was absolutely right. She did get lucky on that one. That was um, Alex. Yep, Alex, she absolutely, she did get lucky. Absolutely. All right. Um, Libra says, yes. <laughs> Libra says, yes. Yeah. So Libra, this is your first time catching me live. So that's awesome. I'm glad that you are enjoying this. I really do appreciate that. Dwayne P says, I'm interested in getting active trade lines on my credit, but I don't know when you don't know where to get them or where to start. What companies can I go for? So Dwayne P, that would be a great phone call to call in to ask that question. Um, in our course, um, we have a broker's. We have a broker, actually, who I have a, a great relationship with ha that has a money back guarantee um, who I trust. Um, but that's only a resource that I have in the paid course. The reason why it is in the paid course is because a lot of the um, guidelines and I need to make sure that compliance things are taken care of. But, yes, you are actually able to purchase um, trade lines through our, our paid courses. But, hey, caller, what's your name and where you calling from? Hey, Martrell, how you doing today, sir? Uh, pretty good. I got a question. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of lost. I, uh, I filed bankruptcy, and it's been about, it's been a little over a year. Okay. And I did Chapter 13. Okay. And I kind of regret I did it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering, can I repair my credit? Uh, inside an open bankruptcy? Yeah. Yes, you can. It's going to be a lot more difficult. Um, so for everybody that's watching live, so there's two types of bankruptcies, the major two types for regular individuals. Chapter 7 bankruptcy is where everything is wiped completely clean, a clean slate. You're going to have a discharge date, and then you have to wait seven years after your discharge date to be quote-unquote lendable. But, you know, there's a lot of loopholes when it comes to that. But then chapter 13 bankruptcy is where it's a restructuring of your debt. 
to where a lot of your old debts, they're pushed off and then it's restructured and you pay a trustee on a monthly basis. And then, but the cool thing about that is the day you make that one last payment, then you instantly have phenomenal um, credit after that. So, but it's a lot more difficult. So um, let's talk about it a little bit more. So you said that you filed um, chapter 13 a year ago and um, how, how, how many more payments do you have until your bankruptcy is completely paid off? It's, uh, I think it was for five years. For five years, okay. Five years. And yeah. so um, what is it that you're wanting to do with your credit during this repayment period? So you said you're wanting to establish credit. What is it that you're wanting to do? If I can start, you know, trying to get my credit score up while I'm paying the bankruptcy off. Mm -hmm. Um, that's gonna be. I, I, that's going to be difficult because you are in an open bankruptcy. Um, did you leave anything out of the bankruptcy? Because one thing too for everyone that's watching, you don't have to include everything into a bankruptcy. You can leave a car out. You can leave. Um, a, a house out or sometimes you can leave credit cards out depending on how you file but with the, that's mostly with the chapter 7 but with the chapter 13 I think they make you put everything in like when I, one other thing I have to say this I am not a bankruptcy attorney and I'm not a bankruptcy specialist I'm a specialist when it comes to business credit and I come to credit so and check your state and check with an attorney before you do anything that's first thing you know I you know folks be watching so that's that's thing number one but so so let's talk about that a little bit more it is going to be it's going to be difficult for you. Um, you're going to need to um, you're going to need some help because you're not going to be able to do it by yourself. You're going to need someone to um, add you as an authorized user to um, their credit cards because it's going to because you have an open bankruptcy It's going to be difficult for you. Um, I have to go and see. Um, I because most because the lender in the course that I'm going to provide the free course that's one of the requirements is that as long as you're not in open bankruptcy so you can have a chapter seven and you as long as you have that discharge date they will lend lend, lend credit to you but with an open chapter 13 it's going to be difficult so you said that you want your scores to go up that sounds like a fruit question let's get to the root why do you want your scores to go up I know you don't want them to go up just so they can be pretty so what's your goal what's your end result what's your end goal Okay, let's talk about that. Did you include your house in the bankruptcy? Did you ever have a house before? No, I, no, I haven't. Okay, so my advice to you is if you want to, um, if you want to purchase a home, you have four years to focus and save up. What is it that you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? I'm a uh, fabricator. Okay, you're a fabricator. How much do you make on a yeah. monthly basis? Okay. Do you have any money saved um, after you pay all of your bills? Do you have any disposable income? Yes, I got money. Uh, I got money saved up too. That's good. How much do you have saved up? Almost, tw almost twenty thousand dollars. Okay. How much? How much is it for your um, for you to pay off your bankruptcy then? Yes, because guess what? Cash is not king. A lot of people say cash is king. Cash is not king. Um, not at all. So, okay. Well, I, I, my auntie used to say if an if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. Everybody got an if. So let's not focus on the if. Let's focus on what we can do. 
So that being said, um, how much is it for your bankruptcy? What is it that you need to have pay up, pay off? Because that's it. That, now we're talking about a different caveat now, because if you have enough to just pay off your bankruptcy, then just pay off your bankruptcy. Okay. Now, I know the, I know the lawyer said if I wanted to go back and file uh, chapter seven, do not, she said it could wipe out. Don't no, do don't, it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because okay. Okay. if your goal is to purchase a home, do not file. Don't do that. You, you see, what happened is that. Okay. What, what you're doing is you're being penny wise, but dollar foolish. If you don't want to okay. use your money, if you don't want to use your money, then wait four years. Let's talk about this. Let's 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 okay. go ahead and put this thing on a piece of paper. If you file a chapter seven, okay. you're going to have to wait seven years with a two time bankruptcy. OK, so hear this. Okay. So that means that you've already you've already provoked the um, advocacy of the court and you have protection on the bankruptcy shield one time now you're going to go back and use like i'm still jacked up let me get another bankruptcy so this is going to be two bankruptcies and then on top of the two bankruptcies you're going to have to wait seven years before you can purchase a home however if your goal is to purchase a home and you don't want to use your cash sit down and stay down for four years. So let me go back to the direction I was saying. If you get down and you stay down for four years, let me show you the power of compound. So let's just say, for instance, four years from now, right? Let's say if you're able to save $500 a month, right? If you're able to save $500 a month, that's $6,000 a year that you're able to save. All right? So that means that you have another $24,000 that you will have saved up with just being able to save that $500 a month. So that means when you get out of your bankruptcy, you will have whatever you have right now, plus an additional $24,000 um, to put as a down payment for a house. Now you're in Alabama. Do you plan on staying in Alabama? Yes. Okay, what part of Alabama are you in? In Mobile. All right, if you're in Mobile, Alabama, the medium house, right, house price right now in Mobile is $175,000. If memory serves me correct. Does that sound about right? Yeah. That boy know what he's talking about. Boy, I tell you the truth. Boy, I tell y'all that boy know what he be talking about. So 175 times 3.5, that means that you will only need $6,000 as a down payment for an FHA home. Because the cool thing about the bankruptcy you did is the day you are out, you are now able to, you can actually start the process two months before your final payment. But the day you make that last payment, you will then be able to close on your home. As long as you're going through a broker that deals with the FHA mortgage. So think about this. So, so you'll be able to purchase your home. Um, now, in the meantime, in between time, you're going to need some help. What I mean by that is because we're talking about advanced business, we're talking about advanced credit repair, we're talking about credit repair secrets, you can get a, um, you can piggyback on somebody. Is there anybody? Are you are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? No, no, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, is there? Uh, do you have a, a significant I'm other? <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you, okay. do you have a? No, I should, I should have said, do you have a significant other? Okay. Do you you have a significant other? No, I'm uh, I'm single. Uh, I moved to Alabama. I have no family down here. Well, no, no, no. So this is the thing. They don't have to. Be, they can be anywhere in the United States of America. It doesn't matter where they are. Do you have any okay. do you have any family members that, that you trust or anybody that 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 understands and believes in what you're doing? Uh, no. OK, so if that's the case, then you're going to have to buy it. So let me. So let's talk about that. So you're going to have to buy trade lines. You're not going to you don't need to buy trade lines until you are three months. No, you don't need to buy trade lines until you're two months away from your final payment. So what happens is that when you purchase trade lines, you're going to purchase that good credit. So if you don't have anybody in your life that will add you on as an authorized user right now and let it build for four years, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. However, when you do get to two months before your last payment is done, purchase a trade line. That trade line is going to stay on your credit for three months. So it's going to boost your scores up. It's going to boost your scores up. You're going to qualify for financing and then you'll be good to go. And then if you stick to your goal 
of I just gave you 500 a month. Is that something that you would be able to handle 500 a month, saving 500 a month? Yeah. Or is that too? Okay. Okay, so by you being able to do that, um, and if you have the strategy, so you have twenty, you have twenty four thousand dollars on top of what you already have. You have you have a one credit because you will be at, uh, thir chapter thirteen paid off. You will be able to go into your home, get the furniture that you want, and get the furniture that you need, and you, your car will be paid off by then as well. So you'll be good to go. Does that does that answer, okay. does that answer your question? Okay, yeah. that's good stuff. Well, thank you so much for giving us a call. Listen, I am still taking your calls. I don't know how long we're going to be live tonight. But I am taking your calls live. 855-75-M-O-N-E-Y. That is 855-756-6639. I'm taking your call um, live um, on YouTube. Let's see where we're looking like. I haven't even looked at the light ratio and the watch ratio. We have 89 people that are watching and we only have 74 thumbs up. The devil is a lie. I need for you guys to hit that like button. And if you don't like what they got to say, hit the thumbs down button. Hey, caller, what's your name and where you calling from? Lakeisha Gilbert from Charlotte, North Carolina. How you doing, Miss Gilbert? I'm doing pretty good. That's good stuff. What do you think about, um, did you, I don't know, if, did you see my Facebook post where I said about black people credit is different from white people credit? I mean, it's the same as white people credit when, you're, when they're born? But, but I'm subscribed, so I kind of seen it bounce across. Okay. And I was trying to look at it. I was like, for some reason, it, it wasn't moving as the time. Okay, it wasn't moving. <laughs> yes, ma'am, you are really talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I really am talking to you. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. You really are talking to me. It might be a delay on um, on YouTube because of the software that we use to broadcast. Um, but yes, ma'am, oh, okay. we are live. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that. You... Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. I promise you. I will. I don't. I promise. I don't. Buy. Yes, ma'am. Listen, I'm just as country and southern as as, as as they go. So don't 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 be too in, intimidated. Okay. So yes, ma'am. What question do you have for me? Okay. Ever since I started watching you guys, I'm like, I'm trying to do this incorporating my business thing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And I'm a sole proprietor at the time, like you know, the entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. But I put off doing my business for two years because I finished up my degree. Yes, ma'am. And I just finished that up in January. Congratulations! Hold on, wait. Let's pause for a moment. All you guys that are watching right now, I want you to t give me the thumbs up emoji. Okay, t give give five thumbs up emoji for Miss Gilbert. I want all you guys to participate. Even if you're watching this on the replay, I want you to still do the same thing. Give her. Five thumbs up emojis for that. Awesome job. What um, what um degree did you get? This is a concentration of human resource. That's awesome. So it's a bachelor's degree. That's listen. It's a degree period. You understand what I'm saying? Do yeah. not downplay that accomplishment. There's people right now that have zero degrees. People that don't think they can get a degree. People who wish they had a degree. So congratulations to you for that. Yeah. I want you to definitely enjoy that. So that's awesome. Uh, you're so very welcome. So do you see the thumbs up? That's what I I see them thumbs up coming. I appreciate you guys so much for showing her support. Tap that thumbs up. I mean, not tap it, but, you know, give her those five thumbs up because that is that's so very good. See these thumbs up on the screen. So, yes, ma'am, this is live. <laughs> yeah. Problem was I started learning stuff and it just things started waking me up. And I'm mm -hmm. like, OK, I don't really want to go out here and work with somebody else's thing. When I've been running my business mm -hmm. kind of the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And so I I started looking into you know the different things that I heard you talking about, and then I found out that I have a I guess a B grade. Yes, ma'am. Done in Bradstreet, which I really didn't think I was on there because I'm just a sole proprietor who was running like a little part-time business. Yes, ma'am. And so I'm trying to incorporate to be an LLC. Yes, ma'am. Down that I previously have, or 
Am I considered a, would I be considered a new business or am I just? That's a very good question. Let me ask you this question. It's so confusing. I guess I'm, I'm listening. It's okay. It's okay. I completely understand. So let me let me let me give you the the um cut and dry answer. So before you were a sole proprietor, now when you did your taxes in your business, so first of all, what is what is your business? What is it that you do? What's the name of it? Oh, I love that. Matter of, I need I might need to hire you. I need some I don't know if you've seen I need I, I need some drapes. I need some black ones. I need some awesome oh, red ones, but nevertheless, we'll talk about that later. You, you can message me. We can, we can talk about that later, but, um, but nevertheless, so Gilbert Drapes. Now, when did you first get your EIN for Gilbert Drapes and when did you start, um, with your EIN? I'm going to be honest with you. I, I didn't have any of that. Okay. That's why I okay. was confused when I found myself on, on Dunn and Bradstreet. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's a very, 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 very good. So let me explain two things. So what most people don't realize, so there are two things. So you guys know how we have a social security number as an individual. We have one social security number. But as a business, you have your EIN, which stands for your employee identification number. And then you have your DUNS number, which is Dun & Bradstreet. You need both of them in order to build business credit. So that's the reason why you have a B grade and not an A grade or an 80 pay index is because you're not complete. You have, you're not complete. So that being said, in the eyes of banking and finance, you don't have a business. Just being very candid with you, you don't. So what I suggest that you do is, um, I, if I were you, I wouldn't make my business be Gilbert Inter um, Drapes. I would make it something like Gilbert Enterprise or Gilbert. Yeah, and, and that's what I did as far as, you know, naming the actual LLC. But yes, ma'am. Well, see, this is so. This is what you do. Don't do a DBA. You don't want to do a do a business as, um, because what it does is it just it makes it more difficult for you when it comes to um, getting business credit. So what I would do if I were you is I would make the business like. Let me give you a prime example. Um, everybody knows about um, General Mills, right? What's your favorite cereal? You don't know you don't eat cereal? Okay. Well, one of my favorite cereal is Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. Okay, that's one of my favorite cereals. So General Mills is the is the company. All the bills and everything is paid General Mills, but they do marketing and advertising as for that particular product for the Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. Okay. So what I would do to make it easier is when this is what this is the thing that banks don't care what your product is as long as it's not illegal. And as long as you pay your bill, so to make it easier, because most people make it more difficult because they'll name their business something that is niche specific. And when they name it something that's niche specific, it makes it more difficult for them to get certain type of financing or funding, because now people start asking, why does this drape company need to get a Mercedes Benz? Why does this drape company need to get this fuel car? Why does this drape company need $60,000 for this? Whereas if you're just a regular general company, all the sky is the limit. And that's the way I teach. I want everybody to get the, get the best advantage they can. So I kept hearing you say that. And yes, that's the reason why I gave it a totally different name because okay. I said, okay, I'm in my 40s. I'm about to get 44. So I want to go into real estate later on down. There we go. There we go. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's not something I feel like I can pass on to my kids, but absolutely. Like real estate, you have a better opportunity to pass that on. Absolutely. To absolutely. I just gave that scenario before. You have the ability, yes, to pass that real estate on. And the cool thing about it is that the moment you close on the real estate, you can add your child on. They don't even have to be of age. You can add them to the title. So God forbid, if anything were to happen to you, it, it goes completely past probate and they instantly have it. Um, so that's phenomenal. So that being said, what I would do is I would make it um, just, you know, the general name that you have it. And then once you build up the, the, the your business and you, you set it up the proper way, then you just start marketing your website as Gilbert Drapes. 
and that's what you do. Um, you just market the actual website. You market the business. You don't, so you don't have to do a DBA. You don't, you don't have to do a doing business ads. You just market um, your website or one of your, they call them click funnels um, for that particular product. That's what I would do if I were you. Yes, ma'am. Like I said, I, I've been doing little things, but I just, I don't think it was really like completely on the legal side. Yes, ma'am. It's a proper way to get, help me to have funding to keep the business going each year. And, yes, ma'am. You know, you can't keep running to your husband saying, I need some money. I know, he gonna, he's going to start looking at you some type of way. Yes, ma'am. He's going to start looking at you some type of way. That is so true. So uh, that being said, that is great. So Gilbert Drapes, the website for Gilbert Drapes, that's phenomenal. That's great. You're going to leave that up. However, for the purposes of building business credit, you're going to have to create a whole new website. Um, and that whole new website needs to be the name of your LLC. Um, the purpose for this website isn't for marketing. The purpose for this website isn't so you can get famous. The purpose of this website isn't so that you can go viral. The purpose of this website is to satisfy underwriting guidelines so that you can get funding. OK, so that is the purpose for that particular website. Um, if you've ever, ever noticed. Well, basically, you're saying you, I should have two. Yes, ma'am. You need to because you're building okay. business credit and because Gilbert okay. Drapes is your product but your business name is something different. So for that, so that we can go through automatic underwriting and automatic approvals, you want to have a basic generic, basic, simple, plain website, which is the name of your, and, and basically what I'm explaining to you is how to create a holding company. A lot of people want to know, how do you create a holding company? This, uh, this is, the, this is the, the blueprint of how to create a holding company. So what you do is you create a, a universal company. Um, you make it business management. Um, that is the SIC code that you created, the LLC. And then what you do is now you have different products that that holding company handles. That's basically how that works, if that makes sense. Okay. So business management. And then when it comes to banking, it shouldn't be under Gilbert Drake. It should be under my LLC. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Because Gilbert's Drapes... Okay. Gilbert Drapes is just a product. So think of Gilbert Drapes like Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. And then, you know, they have Rice Krispie Treat cereal. They have Frosted Flakes cereal. They have all these other different, you know, other different things. But General Mills is, is the company. So think of Gilbert Drapes like um, one of the cereals. And then when you have your real estate, your real estate is a different cereal. So then you have Gilbert Properties. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Just like the branches of a family tree. Yes, okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I really appreciate this because uh, who do you have to talk to nowadays? You know what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. So, I really appreciate you um, letting me in and letting me get on. And I, trust me, I'm still going to be watching and I'm about to blow my family up because I'm like, y'all better get it together. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Put some fire underneath their tails. Well, thank you so very much for calling. I really appreciate you. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. And yes, this is live. So yes, and you will be getting a chance to talk to me. Um, yes. So give us a call. 855-756-6639. That is 855-756-6639. That's 855-75-MONEY. I'm taking your calls live. This is our live show that we do on Fridays. Boom, 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 boom. This is, the, I'm sorry, guys, I was looking at the comments from um, that Trump video. A lot of people got psyched out. They got tricked about from the Trump video. <laughs> a lot of people got tricked. A lot of people got tricked from the Trump video. All right, so Caroline says, you're sorry you're not sure what your emojis is because um, you've never used them. However, this gives me, as a woman, to say hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jesus, and congratulations. Well, Carolina, that is phenomenal. You can, you can keep those emojis because those are some powerful words. That's good stuff, guys. Let's see. How long have I been live? Let me check to see how long I've been live. Um, let's see how long I have been live. Do, 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 do. Because I think it's going to run out on me in a second. Let me double check. Oh, it's only an hour and 31 minutes. We're not that bad. Hey, caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? It's so hard for me to hear you, my man. Say that again. Speak up a little bit, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, my name is Winston. I'm calling from Seattle, 
Washington. Winston from Seattle, Washington. You're in the church. So you, that's good stuff. How are you doing today, my man? I'm doing good. How you doing? I am winning, man. Now listen, I'm trying to tell you, if it, it, listen, I wasn't going to be doing this show. I was tired, but God was like, you know, you got some people waiting for you. I went and I saw like 40 people in the chat waiting. I was like, oh man, <laughs> I got to get this together. But so, so yeah, Winston, um, how can I help you? What's your, what's your question for tonight? Yes, sir. It's established, yes, sir. Right, it's established. So, with that being said, uh, which I'm going to join your your program soon. Okay, uh, awesome. Hello, Winston. Uh, yes, sir. Well, let me ask you this question. Um, it all depends on what your time frame is. So right now you say that you, are you OTR or are you local? Or are you regional? No, no I'm on the road. OTR. Okay, you're OTR. Who are you running for right now? I'm running for a company out of Washington. Okay, you're running for a small company. Okay. Okay, that's good. Are they going to let you lease on under their authority or are you going to get your own authority? He's going to take 8%. Okay, so what he's going to do is he's going to let you um, run underneath his authority. Okay, he's going to take 8%. Okay, that's good stuff. Um, I, 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 I got to run under my authority, though, he said. So how does that work? So if he is, so he's going to broker the loads for you, and he's going to take 8%? Yeah. Okay, so he's going to broker the loads. He's going to take 8%. Okay, but you're still going to run underneath your own authority. Okay, okay, cool. Right. So, um... How long have you been running for him? Uh, I've been with him almost a year now. Okay. How, about 10 months. Ten, 10 months? Okay. How long have you had your CDL? Uh, I've been in the game 18 years. 18 years. Just okay. Just being on yeah, Okay. I had a little issue. I got stayed away for about three years, so I've been back out here three years now. Okay. That's good stuff. Okay. Say no more. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly where you're at. Okay. So how much do you have saved up right now? Okay. And um, do you know what it is that you want as far as what type of equipment you want? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm kind of looking at maybe like a, I'm looking at a, a T680. Uh, I just do like this. I'm looking for something with about like a, maybe three, four hundred thousand miles. Okay. Around about 40,000, more than 50,000. Okay. I can get to you without putting a whole lot of money in. Okay, absolutely. And what and what equipment did you have right now? And um, the equipment is it is it company owned or are you paying for it weekly? No, it's company owned at the moment. Okay, all right, that's good stuff. So he's not taking anything out of your billables, um, or he's not taking anything out of the um, com data check every every week. It just it's just company truck. No, no. Okay, all right, cool. No, all right, cool. So, yeah. all right, so I needed all of that information so that I can give you the best advice. Um, my advice to you, you've been running with him for, t for 10 months. Um, how long would it take for you to be able to get enough financing or funding to, um, get a new truck without using your own credit? If you start fresh three months, it only takes you 90 days to build up your profile. The reason why I say 90 days is because you've been running for 18 years and you would be with him for 12 months. So you can use him as a trade reference. Even though your scores are pretty low, um, depending on where you are, because you're trying to do something fairly quickly and in the eyes of the banks, it's still considered a newer business. 
um, you need to be open and operating for at least three months and then you are able to get some equipment. Um, you'll be able to get it. You'll be able to get what you want, be able to get what you need. Um, yeah, you'll be able to get what you want and get what you need in three months. So you said that your scores are pretty low. What's your definition of pretty low? When was the last time you checked your credit score? Uh, my, my, yeah, it was like, I was like 515 on one side and maybe 520 on the other, something like that. 505 and 515. Okay. 515 and 520. I think 515 was a lower 10. Okay. So if you're at a 5... Okay, if you're at a 515 or 520, that means that you have credit that's older than two years that are all collections. You don't have anything positive and you don't have anything recent. Is that accurate? That's right. That's right. That boy know what he's talking about. I'm trying to tell you, listen, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. I can listen. Score. And what happens that most people don't realize numbers mean things. Scores mean things. Depending on what your scores are, that's what it means. So that being said, this is what you can do. Um, three months, you can turn that 520 into a 680 in a heartbeat. You can do that and you can do that in you can do it in 60 days. So if you really focus for the next three months, you'll be where you need to be. And let me show you how you're gonna do that. So because you have a lot of things that are old, they're older than 24 months, you're at the 520 mark, my advice for you would be to actually do a credit sweep. All you have to do is real simple. It's not hard at all. I promise. If you sit down, you can sit down with some ribs, you can sit down with some pancakes. I don't know if you like breakfast food or if you like um, dinner food, but you can sit down in one of these good truck, good old truck stops, sit down with a pen and a piece of paper. And all you have to do is um, look on your credit report, go to a place called Credit Check Total. It's free. Um, it's a dollar. Actually, Credit Check Total costs a dollar for like a 10 day trial. But get Credit Check Total. Look at everything that's on your credit report. Write down the name. I'm telling you, it doesn't take long at all. Um, write down the name of uh, the account number, and then all you have to do is after you do that, go on your computer. I promise it's only going to take 45 minutes and just fill out a form on the computer. All they're going to ask you is your name, your social security number, your address. They're going to ask you simple stuff like that and fill in those account numbers and you can do what's called an online dispute. Because they're older than 24, because they're older than 24 months and because you did go away for that little bit of time, nine times out of 10, that stuff is going to completely fall off completely in 30 days. Majority, nine times out of 10 is going to go away in 30 days because you're going to do an online dispute. Nine times out of 10. Now, after you do that, you can go and you can, you have $10,000 saved up. So out of the 10,000 you have saved up, let's say that you take $1,000, Okay. Out of that thousand dollars, you go and you get two trade lines, a good quality trade lines. Okay, you get you two good quality trade lines. Um, you get you two good quality trade lines. After you have all that other stuff fall off, you're now gonna have a six eighty or seven hundred credit score. Just that simple. Now, at, but at the same time that you're doing that. You still have to make sure that you do what you need to do with building up your credit. I mean, building up your business. What I mean by that is you say that, you, you, you know, enroll into if you enroll into my course, I walk you step by step and we hold your hand through our system and we show you step by step what you need to do so that in the next three months, your business can get established. So to the point where you will be able to have enough money, you're still going to have your now I just say nine thousand dollars. You have $9,000 saved up because you invested a thousand into the business. Then you are also going to have um, very good credit with a 680. Then you're going to have a, enough to get the equipment that you want. Now let's talk a little bit about this equipment right now. Are you going to, are you doing dry van? Are you doing reefer? You do a step deck, you do a heavy hauling, you doing you reefer. Okay. Now when you get your own authority, are you going to have to get your own um, trailer too? Yes. Okay. All right. So that means that you're going to need a little bit more. So that means that you're going to need more than just enough for um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, you're going to need more than just a tractor. You're going to need enough for a trailer as well. So that being said, um, you have this 680 credit score. You have 9000 saved up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to um, get you equipment financing for that OTR. 
and then after that then we can try to um you also get equipment financing for your for your trailer um, equipment financing is a lot different. What happens is a lot of times people in your situation, they'll come to me and say, Dean, I need $50,000 or I need $60,000. And then they can't get it. And we're like, well, why? And then, you know, we ask, why can't you get, why, why do you want 50 or 60,000? They say, oh, because I need to buy equipment. Well, that's different. If you go and get equipment financing that can be used specifically for that equipment, you can get that as a brand new startup. But it's more difficult to get sixty thousand dollars to go buy cocaine, or sixty thousand dollars to go, you know, buy sixty thousand dollars worth of beef jerky. It's different, you know what I'm saying? To just get um, an unsecured credit. But if you get secured credit, meaning that it's for that specific thing, which is equipment, it makes it a lot easier. Um, I have a resource in our course that gives forty thousand dollars for equipment for a brand new startup, but it's specifically for equipment specifically for equipment and that's 100 percent in your business name no personal guarantee required for that at all so that's what i saw so i said all of that i gave you a long lengthy um answer to it basically it takes you three months so if you focus and you and you focus every single week and it ain't got to be every day but every single week just make a little small check and you'll be surprised in three months in three months, um, you'll easily have around sixty or seventy thousand in business credit. That's separate from your personal credit that you can use for equipment and also to build up your fleet. Okay, and this went to online course, right? Yes, sir. Now, in our online course, we guarantee twenty thousand dollars because that's our guarantee. The reason why we underpromise is because folks are silly, and they fickle, and they funny. <laughs> but not to, if you look at a lot of our. Um, a, if you look at a lot of our testimonials, you'll see people 50,000, 70,000, 100,000. But we under promise and you say you're guaranteed at least 20,000. But I just told you that there's a resource that's going to give you 40,000, um, you know, brand new. And you can just been in the you can been in the course for 35, 40 days and you can get that. So that's how that works. Yes, sir. But yes, sir. OK. Is hey, that Dean, I really appreciate you. You've been, you've been a big blessing. You are very welcome. I appreciate you. And let somebody else on the call. I appreciate you. Listen, um, make sure that you share this and make sure that you like this, guys. We are taking phone calls. I'm going to take probably two more phone calls and I'm going to call it a night. We're taking two more calls. So give us a call, 855-756-6639. Um, That's 855-756-6639. We are taking your calls. i um, taking two more calls and I'm going to call it a night, guys. I appreciate your support. Let's look at these analytics. Let's see what we get. We have 92 people that are um, giving us thumbs up and we have 86 um, people that's watching. I appreciate that. If you are watching right now, you have not hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and we have 92 thumbs up. That means I want to see 92 shares. Share this. So the same way you hit that thumbs up button, hit that share button as well. Share it to in a text message. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Um, take a screenshot at me and at me on Instagram. You guys said that you were interested in the free consultation, the hour consultation. I will go, I'm going to do a contest for the month of May. The person with the most trackable shares, because I check it on any of my videos, the person with the most trackable shares for the month, I'm going to give them a free one hour, one on one consultation with me. So I am taking two more phone calls and we're going to call it a night. 855-756-6639. That is 855. The number is right here. 855-756-6639. Taking two more calls and I'm calling it tonight. Let's look at some of these comments. Awesome. I want to drive for someone that is North Carolina. Carolina. You want to drive for somebody. That's pretty cool. Passive income trucker says, um, Tell them your story. Okay, Passive Income Trucker. So you guys want to know a good story. So Passive Income Trucker, who's, who's, who is, now he gave me the permission to do this. He is a client, okay? He is Scott Davies. Scott Davies is a Caucasian gentleman, okay, who had horrible credit when he enrolled into my course. He had just filed bankruptcy. Scott Davies did. Scott Davies now has a high 680, 690 your scores might be 700 right now, Scott. Scott, tell me what your scores right now. So tell me what your scores are. And Scott has close to $100,000 in um, new credit. 
And out of that $100,000, I think what, $30,000 is for his personal credit after a bankruptcy. And then he has another $65,000 in business credit that's separate from his personal credit. So ladies and gentlemen, Scott Davies is the man. Um, Scott Davies. So Scott, let me know. Passive Income Trucker is what his, his screen name is right here. So if you look right here, you'll see his screen name is Passive Income Trucker. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? I'm looking for Dago. Hit like, hit hit the like button, Alex. Where passive income trucker? At? I'm looking for it. Where is that? You'll see it. It's gonna come up in a second. You'll see it in a second. But that is his story. Um, I actually need to get him on a one-on-one. -on -one. I really need to get Scott to do a one-on-one. -on -one. We did an hour consultation before, but I want to do a one-on-one -on -one testimonial style. But yes, he has built up a tremendous amount of business credit and personal credit after a bankruptcy and he and he came into my course um a little under a year it might be a, it might be a year now or it might it might be a year this month scott if, if memory serves me correct he was in my course a year ago and he has close to a hundred thousand dollars he was uh, fresh in a bankruptcy um scores are are are, are up there so scott um Definitely, thank you so much for letting me share that story. So, guys, we are, look, it looks like we might be, look, it is late. So, m nobody else wants to talk, and I'm okay with that. 60K in both personal and business credit. And you're at an um, 80 paydex score. Oh, shoot. We have, um, where did that come from? Hey, hey, Carla, what's your name and where you calling from? I am winning. How are you doing today, my man? Oh, I'm well, man. I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. That's good. What's your name again and where you calling from? California. California. That's what I'm Sorry. talking about. That's good stuff. Sorry. So what's going on, Shaw? How you feeling, hey, my man? I'm good, good, good. Um, I had a quick question for you. So um, what do I need to do to get like more money? Like a hundred thousand credit at one time, so I have a combined uh, credit is roughly around like two hundred some thousand combined. Okay, so you want so what you're saying is that you want to have a loan for a hundred, or you want to have a loan for two hundred. Okay. Yes, sir. To do that, we're talking about personal credit or business credit. Either or. Either or. So let's talk about it a little bit more. How old are you? I'm thirty-two. Are you thirty-two years old? Which is cool. And let's talk specifics because I need to know specifics because I, I, I to give you a specific answer. So how many credit cards do you have right now? Okay. Okay. And I need to know how old are they? Say that one more time. You have a whom? I have a variety of different credit. Okay, you have a mixture. Okay, you said mixture. Okay. Now, um, what is your current scores? Five score, you talking about? Yeah. Mm hmm five Yes, sir. Uh, I would say it's probably When the last time well first Paul falls. When's the last time you check your credit score? Check your credit report. Okay. That's just one. It's just one. Okay. Do you have Do you have um, um, credit karma? No, I don't have credit karma. Get all right. I strongly suggest if this is what you're wanting to do, I strongly suggest that you get credit karma. Credit karma is free. Don't cost you anything at all. 
and it does not negatively affect your credit at all. Because that's going to allow you to know exactly what your scores are and it's going to allow you to know exactly how you're looking and what is on your profile for multiple different resources. So the reason why I'm asking these questions is because that matters, because there's something that's called the 524 rule. 524 rule basically says that underwriters do not like to give you five pieces of, excuse, they don't like to give you five pieces of um, financial um, um, institutions. They don't want to give you five pieces of credit within 24 months. That's why I'm asking these questions specifically because of what you're asking. Now, if you want your, um, if you're just wanting to get $100,000, what do you want to use $100,000 for? You just want to have money in the bank? Okay, so so you're wanting to invest in real estate. So you want a hundred thousand dollars to buy properties, or a hundred thousand dollars to buy one. Money? Okay. All right. So. Okay. All right. So let's talk about it a little bit more. So you said you want this hundred thousand dollars for your business. That's cool. What is your business? How long has it been in existence? Okay. All right. So um, there you have two options based on what you say. Um, now, man, I got to ask some more questions. Because I need to understand. So with the transportation company, are you OTR, are you regional, are you local? No, I'm local. You local? And um, are you running under your own authority or are you um, are you um, running under my own authority? Own authority, okay, awesome. So last year when you did your taxes, what did you what did you net? Not what you grossed, because we we know we we like to cook them books. So what I did you You haven't done them yet. Okay, what will they be when you do them? Hello. Okay. So because of what it is that you're wanting to do, you're going to have to make sure that you do as minimal um, deductions as possible. So you have two options to get what you want to do. You can get an F, you can get an SBA loan. If you have been in business for at least 24 months and you have over $200,000 of um, taxable income, then you can get an SBA loan. It doesn't matter what your score, it doesn't matter. I mean, your scores need to be at least SBA a six. Stands SBA stands for Small Business Administration, a SBA loan. A SBA loan is, um, SBA, so this is how it works. So um, have you ever heard of FHA loan or Federal Housing Administration or FHA? Have you heard of that before? Yeah, real estate. Yep, have, yeah, have you heard of it before? Okay, what most people don't realize is that a FHA loan is actually basically the underwriting principal and the backers, but multiple different lenders have FHA loans like Wells Fargo, Bank of America, um, Chase, Capital One. But now the exact same thing with the SBA. SBA stands for the Small Business Administration. They're the business version of the FHA loan. So you'll have multiple different banks that will actually lend the money but SBA is going to back them. That's how that works. So in order for you to get, based on what you're saying, the, the two options in which you're able to do what you're wanting to do is to wait another 12 months. Make sure that you keep your um, T's crossed and your I's dotted. Um, make sure that your transportation company is doing over 200000 in that combined 24 months. Then you can get an SBA loan. Um, you can easily get an SBA loan through multiple different lenders. I mean, I have six lenders that'll do SBA loans with those criteria, with those underwriting criteria, with those um, underwriting the criteria. The contingencies are what we just said. So those, that was the reason why I was asking those questions. So in order for you to qualify, you have to be in business, a legitimate business, not a, not a doing business as, but be a legitimate business for 24 months. And you also need to make sure that your taxable net income, not your gross income, but your net income is over $200,000. Um, when you do that and you have at least a 620 score, then you can qualify for an SBA loan. 
small business administrator. So my FICO score? Yes, sir. Your FICO score. You need to do that. And if you do that, then you'll be able to get an SBA loan. That's the first option. Because you said that you just want a lump sum of $100,000. Now, the second option that you could do is you could actually build up your credit enough to you can get an Amex. An Amex is an American Express card. Um, if you get an, if you build up your score enough to get an Amex and you can do a lot of shit. Okay, awesome. So that means you don't need to do the other option because that was the other thing I was going to ask you. If you have an Amex, you can go out, you can buy real estate right now. You can buy a house right now. Let's say you saw a house here in California. Let's say you saw a house. But the American Express card, I have, I think, a credit is only like 7500 It's not like $2,500 or like that. Yeah, so that means that we would need to, um, you would really need to get a full charge card. I, I, I don't know. Do you have the American Express Blue? That sounds like the blue card. Is that the blue card? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Like see-through? Yeah, it's see-through with the blue, um, with the blue um, check-in, the blue um, chip in it. So, the, so what you would need to do is you want the you would need to get a traditional either platinum or even a green charge card, just a, a traditional American Express charge card. Because what happens is that if you get a traditional American Express charge card, you can use whatever you want. You have 30 days to pay it off. So if you're wanting to purchase real estate, go out, purchase real estate, swipe your card, get you, um, set, let's say you're in California, let's say you get something for 150000 Then what you're able to do is in 30 days, you need to refinance that to pay that off. That's an option and that's a strategy that you're able to do. So just you can use that. If you want to get a car, do the exact same thing. The best thing for you to do, though, is make sure that your business is solid. And make sure your relationship is good with um, credit unions so that when you do go out and use your charge card, you have um, 30 days to refinance whatever that equipment is or whatever that piece of property is so that it'll pay off that charge card. That's a very advanced strategy so that you can do that. I'm going to point something out to you, though. Yes, sir. Sure. About certain credit unions. Uh, sure. Like, uh, for example, like Nelly Federal. Mm hmm I'm not aware of that. I do know that um, with they don't, they don't do that, bro. I didn't know that, so I'm gonna do my research. I, I I appreciate you letting me giving me that information. I'll go and double check, but I do know that um, I did have a client who um, he went and he got um, financing for a tractor, and what he did was when you go through Navy Federal Credit Union, they actually give you a real live check. So what he did was um, he went and he purchased his tractor and Navy was like, okay, you need to send in the title. And he was like, no, I'm not going to send in the title. I don't, I told him not to do it. I didn't advise him to do it. But what they did was they converted it from equipment financing to just a personal loan and he paid it back that way. But I wouldn't suggest anybody to do that, but that is, yeah, it's a higher interest rate. Absolutely. That's what he did. But I wouldn't suggest that. But that's that's been the only thing that I've looked at when it came to reporting. I did not know that they don't report. I mean, I didn't know that. But see, hold on, wait, 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 wait. That's not one hundred percent accurate. I do know that they do report. I have, I have seen. I can actually pull up. I I wanna I wanna almost I wanna almost guarantee I can actually pull up on the screen. Matter of fact, they do. Hold on for a second. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up a credit report, and on the credit report, you see Navy Federal Credit Union. Hold on for a second. I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pull that up. Yeah, hold on for a second. I'll, 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 let's, let's, let's go ahead and um, 
I, I want to I want to pull this up because we look. Um, yeah. Who? Yep. Hold on for a second. I was just actually doing a loan application for someone, and we were going over. Yeah, we were going over the um, credit report, and it it does show up. I'm gonna pull it up, and I'm gonna hide that information. Um, and I'm gonna pull it up and put it on the screen right now. So that's why I say I'm not. I, I, I'm not, I wasn't 100% sure about that, um, what you were saying, but I do know without a shadow of a doubt and with any, without any equivocations that um, they do, and I can, I can show it to you. Um, yep, here it go right here. Give me one moment. Let's see if I can blur out that information. Um, let me see if I can blur out, make sure I blur out this person's information. <sighs> yep. Um, Revolving, revolving, as in um, not, not, not. This revolving credit is forty nine thousand five hundred. I'm just gonna bring this up. Let me see. I can bring if I can bring this up. Let me make sure I don't show the person's name. Hold on for a moment. I mean, it's not gonna be a big deal to me. I'm just yeah. I just want to make sure that you know we do teach how, truth how, to power. How I, how I know this is because I pay off two, two, two trucks and uh, and they even told me. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I, I'm looking at a credit report right now where um, I'm looking at them reporting. I want to see if I can um, pull this up without showing their information. Uh, Navy Federal Credit Union. Yeah, yep. and, and like I said, ain't no big deal, man. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just something that happened for me, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like like the young lady, yeah, I'm looking at somebody right now, looking at a client right now. They have one, two, three loans that are reporting to Equifax. They only report to Equifax, though. And they're reporting, um, and they're reporting, they don't report, that they're not reporting TransUnion or Experian, but they're reporting um, on their credit profile. Four, you know, actually four. I mean, I, maybe, you know, I don't know, but you know what I'm saying, I got Okay, well, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure about that, but I do. Um, I just want to make sure that we do um, make sure that we give out the, the best and proper information. I don't want anyone to make a mistake and think, oh, well, they don't show up. But yeah, I'm seeing right here. Yeah, um, Well, no, we, I don't. I don't have to. Show. Yeah, let me let me show you right here. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Okay. I do. Okay. All right. Hold on for one second. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, well, thank you so much for giving. Um, I'm not going to hold your mind up, though, man, but you know you're doing a good job, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for calling in, guys. Um, you have a good one, my man. I appreciate it. All right, guys, so um, that was gonna, that's going to be the last call. The reason why that's the last call is because I really want to show this information because um, I want to make sure, like I said, you know, we talk and we speak truth to power. And I'm going to bring on the um, screen... And I, I want to make sure that I um, don't show this individual's personal information. But um, um, do, 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 do. make sure I don't show this person's information. Um, make sure that I don't show this person's information. Hold on for one second. Give me one second, guys. Hold on. I'm going to make sure. But I just want to see that, you know, it does show up on the credit report, even negatives and positives. I just want to make sure that, you know, we, um, I make sure I do this the right way. Let me try to get rid of this. Give me a second, guys. Oh, you know what? Boom. Pop it out. That's how we're going to do it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, 
Uh, um, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, there we go. Let me hide email. Boom. There we go. There we go. Got it. 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 Let me pull it up to that section. Uh, I'm looking at the credit report. Um, da, 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 make sure that um, we're good to go. Make sure we're good to go. Um, here we go. Here we go. Boom. All right. MX, MX. This client has multiple MXs. Um, okay, Julie, there we go. Here we go. Boom. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, wow. Oh, not that. I know that I think why you try I just want to make sure you know guys I just want to make sure that I give out the best and most proper information that I can so I just want to make sure just want to make a hundred percent sure that's all guys just want to make 100 percent sure Oh, you're making me do that. Come on, they're making me do that. All right, give me a second, guys. I gotta log in or something. Uh. Oh, shoot. I'm on the screen. Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm on the screen. Hold up. Let's get this off the screen here. <laughs> I was about to give out some. Oh. Let's get that off the screen. <laughs> Let's get that off the screen for real, for real. There we go. Let's get that off the screen for real, for real. <laughs> I was just about to get, I'm so glad I saw that out the corner of my eye. I'm like, come on now. <laughs> Let's get that off the screen for real, for real. That was going to be horrible. Oh my gosh, that was going to be horrible. I'm so glad I saw that out the corner of my eye. Ooh, I'm so glad I saw that out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad I saw that. I just want to bring this up, guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I know. Man. Dang, what you doing, man? I really want to, I really want to bring this up. So, all right, let's go ahead and make some, make it, make it a little more enjoyable for you guys that are watching over the airways. Let me get this together. Thank you for your patience, everyone.
All right, guys, I want to share this with you guys. Give me one moment here. And let's see if you guys are still with me. I know, let's see, first of all, you guys are still with me? Let's see how many people are watching. I want to show this. And the reason why I've been going so hard and I really want to show this is because I really, I really want to make sure that I, uh, you know, the information that is given out is accurate information. Um, I really don't want um, misinformation given out at all. So I want to share this and I want to make sure that this particular client information is protected, which is why I, um, I, I had to, you know, do what I needed to do, go what I needed to go to make sure. But I want to show this to you guys. Give me a moment while I'm just double checking, crossing all my T's, dotting all my I's and making sure that I do not show this client's information um, right here. Bear with me for one moment, guys. I just want to show something fairly quickly, really quick, right here. Um, uh, right here. All right, let's go ahead and bring this on screen. All right, so if you guys can see right here, make sure that this client information is not um, being shown right here. But as you can see right here, this particular client, Navy Federal Credit Union, showing up with Experian. Um, if I go to the next screen, um, I have to, if I go to the next screen, um, his, his name will show up. So I'm going to um, pause it again. But I just want you guys to see right here. This is a, um, it says it's potential to, potential, potentially a negative item, but it's been paid off. This is um Four thousand three hundred and forty-three dollars is a credit card um, for the credit union. So let's go ahead and go back. Hold on for a second, guys. Let me pause it. So that one showed up, and then let me show you two new ones that showed up. Let's go back here. Give me a second, guys. So you guys can see. Boom. So as you can see right here on this one, um, this one shows up for twelve thousand right here as a credit card and let's see i want to make sure i don't show anything i'm not supposed to show here is another one this one is not a credit card this is just a 24 month installment loan and this one shows up as um 400 and um one dollars um navy federal credit union as an installment loan not as a credit card hold on let's go transfer over again let's go to the next one um, the, the reason why I'm showing this is because this particular client, specifically, we just went through his profile and he had multiple different accounts with Navy, which is one of my favorite lenders. So here is another one um, that is a, a, a regular installment loan. This one is 8000 It's not a credit card. It's open an installment loan. That's um, $8,889. Um, let me see if we can move it a little bit more. And here is another that's not a credit card, another installment loan that's 17234 So this client here has done a, a phenomenal job of building their relationship with Navy Federal Credit Union, which is one of the things that um, which is one of the things that I encourage through my course. And, and this is something that's pretty interesting that most people might not realize is that um, I don't get paid any commission at all from Navy Federal Credit Union. I don't get any kickback from them because they are a federal credit union. But what it does do, it helps my track record and it helps help my clients. So I don't get money um, on the back end at all from Navy. Majority of the banks that I deal with and I contract with, they do um, give me commissions, but Navy Federal Credit Union is not one of them. A lot of the smaller private equity firms and a lot of the private lenders who I send a lot of my clients to they do but navy doesn't but the reason why i use navy is because i know the ins and outs and outs and ends and it makes me look good when i'm able to have a client like that as you can see that client has close to forty thousand dollars in um credit cards and loans and financing you know what i'm saying we looked at seventeen thousand eight thousand we looked at twelve thousand so and but that's good thing is that we i, I teach him how to use that to leverage for other things. So that's how that works. So I really wanted to um, share that with you guys so that we can um, 
You know, I just wanted to speak truth to power. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, people say things that sounds good, but I just want to make sure that it is good. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to say anything. Um, I don't want to say anything about that gentleman, you know, because that was his experience. But my experience, because I deal with it multiple times and I see it all the time. So you guys are with me. You guys are with me. We, we good. Where well, we going? You know what I'm saying? We have 96 people that are watching live and we have 106 thumbs up. So that's good. So these 96 people, I want to make sure that you guys are good. So I wanted to share that with you guys so that I can make sure that that you guys are, um, you know, that we're good to go so that you can see that. All right. You said that you can't hear audio. Okay. You must appreciate it, Dean. Thank you so very much. You're so very welcome. You can respect that. Okay, good stuff. We're good to go. Yeah, the Nina Simone sample is dope. All right, so we're good to go. All right, so DL, you asked what year is this? 2020? Why is this? What, what's, what's going on? You can never get enough of Dean's feed. Well, thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate you guys so much for that. Thank you for providing um, influential, ir irrefutable. Thank you. I got tongue tied, DL. <laughs> thank you for providing um, irrefutable evidence. Case one. Thank you very much, DL. That's what we do. I speak truth to power when we speak facts. You know what I'm saying? We speak truth to power when we speak facts. You know, men lie, women lie, but numbers don't lie. And I'm not saying that the gentleman was, was being intentional. I'm not saying that he was throwing shade. I'm not saying anything negative. But one thing is that I wanted to make sure that on this platform that we make sure that we speak the best accurate information. And I didn't want to just call him an outright liar. You know, I just wanted to make sure that I was, you know, was accurate. And so I because I know without a shadow of a doubt and without any equivocations, the same way I know, like with Scott Davies, his story and the things that he's built, there are certain clients that I know, you know, so I know that we use things for a reason, you know, so. And one of the things that made it a little, and I'm not trying to talk down to the brother, but he was very sketchy about, oh, eight out of seven, and I, I did this score or that score. I'm like, come on, man. We talking about, like, come on now, this grown folk stuff. You got to pull your pants up, stick your chest out, speak louder, speak specificity. That's what we're talking about. Like, I need no specifics because, and I think the, the difference is because, because of the barbershop talk and because, like the young lady from um, North Carolina said, who can you talk to? There are so many people that do talk ifs and roundabouts and they do go with that same real um, underground, underground railroad um, newsletter. I think that's one of the biggest issues in the African-American community is that underground railroad ain't never stopped. So people will spread information. And a lot of it is half truths and false informations in the underground railroad of information. And so now I could not have it to where someone leaves my platform, leave my show, leave my feed with some misinformation. I just wanted to make sure. So I wanted to make sure I protected my clients um, confidentiality. At the same time, I wanted to show, you know, his success. We just saw, I think, five cards reporting to the credit profile. And we use that to leverage to get other things. You know what I'm saying? So I said all of that to say, listen, we speak truth to power around these parts. Listen, so I, I just want to make sure that you guys know exactly where we are and how we stand, guys. So listen, if you're watching this and you watch all the way to the end, make sure you subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, hit and you don't hit the bell. So if you was like, Dean, I wanted to call you live. Dean, I wanted to, um, to you know, interact with you. You know, Dean, what is it? You know, I, I wanted to know what was going on. Listen, two things. Thing number one, you've seen my video before, but you have not um, subscribed. And if you did subscribe, you did not hit the bell. So it's very important for you not only to subscribe, but look, hit the bell notification so the next time I'm live, you can participate. Listen, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's broadcast. <laughs> I, I can honestly call it a broadcast now. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's show. Thank you so much for answering questions. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you so much for sharing. Listen, I look at my analytics. You guys know I look at my analytics and I am going to do the giveaway all right so the person that has the most shares and the most ads at the end of may they're going to get a free one hour one-on-one -on -one consultation with me i'm going to share that with you guys for sharing my information and i am watching right now and according to these analytics right now we have 
Um, only 77 people watching because, you know, we did the end of the show. We have 107 thumbs up. So that means that I want 107 shares. Everybody that gave me the thumbs up, that's great. So the thumbs up is for me to let me know you value my content, but the shares is for YouTube to let YouTube know that you value my content. So that way YouTube will begin to spread out the information. So listen, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys next Friday. We're doing this every Friday. So my goal is by next Friday to have that free course ready. So during this show, I can drop the link and everybody can go and get started on the free course. Listen, the only person stopping you from being successful is you. Go get them. Success is waiting for you. <laughs>